Have you ever held a diamond and wondered, was this forged in the heart of the earth over billions of years or grown inside a machine in just a few weeks? The answer may shock you. Diamonds have long captivated the human imagination, embodying both the raw power of nature and the pinnacle of human aspiration. Their allure is timeless, a symbol of love, status, and unbreakable bonds. But the story of how diamonds come into existence is far more complex than the glimmering stones set in rings or necklaces might suggest. To truly appreciate the world's most coveted gemstone, one must journey deep beneath the Earth's surface, where time, pressure, and heat conspire over eons to create something truly extraordinary. Imagine, for a moment, a place where time seems to stand still. More than 150 kilometers below the surface of the Earth, in the planet's upper mantle, intense heat and pressure rule. Here, temperatures soar above 1,200 degrees Celsius, and pressures reach hundreds of thousands of times greater than those at sea level. Within this crucible, carbon atoms, one of the most fundamental elements, begin an ancient dance. They move and shift, forced together by the overwhelming forces surrounding them. Under these conditions, they slowly arrange themselves into a rigid, three-dimensional lattice. This is the perfect crystalline structure of diamond, a feat of nature that takes not centuries, but over a billion years to complete. But the diamond's journey is only beginning. For these tiny crystals to ever see the light of day, they must be propelled toward the surface, and nature has devised an explosive means to do so. Deep within the Earth, volcanic eruptions known as kimberlite pipes act as natural elevators. When these rare and violent eruptions occur, they rocket molten rock and diamond crystals upwards at incredible speeds, embedding them in volcanic rock just beneath the surface. Over time, weathering and erosion expose these deposits, and miners, chasing the promise of fortune, painstakingly extract the gems from the earth. For generations, this was the only way diamonds were formed and found, a process so rare and so protracted that it imbued each stone with an almost mythical quality. But as technology advanced and demand for diamonds soared, scientists began to ask, could humans replicate what the Earth took billions of years to perfect? The answer, as it turns out, is yes. And thus began the era of lab-grown diamonds. Step into a modern diamond laboratory, and you'll find a world that's a far cry from the muddy pits and dusty tunnels of traditional mining. Here, the atmosphere hums with electrical energy. Precision instruments, lasers, and reactors stand ready. In this controlled environment, scientists have managed to replicate the impossible, growing diamonds in just a matter of weeks. The process starts small, literally, with a tiny fragment of diamond, known as a seed. This seed is placed inside a specially designed chamber, and then the real magic begins. In one method, called High Pressure, High Temperature, or HPH, machines generate pressures of up to 5 gigapascals and temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees Celsius. Into this inferno, carbon is introduced and begins to settle onto the seed, gradually building up layer after layer of diamond crystal. An alternative method, chemical vapor deposition, or CVD, relies on chemistry and plasma rather than brute force. In CVD, a chamber is filled with methane and hydrogen gases. Powerful microwaves split the methane molecules, freeing carbon atoms that rain down gently onto the diamond seed. Like snowflakes accumulating on a mountaintop, the diamond grows, atom by atom, until it reaches the desired size. What is truly remarkable is that these lab-grown diamonds are, in every measurable way, identical to the ones formed deep within the Earth. Their chemical composition, crystal structure, and optical properties are indistinguishable from their natural counterparts. In fact, even experienced jewelers often require advanced instruments to tell them apart. Lasers, spectrometry, and even quantum sensors are now employed to distinguish between natural and lab-grown stones. Some of the most valuable lab diamonds are even embedded with atomic scale barcodes, unique markers that act as a digital fingerprint, revealing the diamond's true origin. The rise of lab-grown diamonds has sparked a profound shift in the industry. While natural diamonds have long been a symbol of rarity and prestige, 
lab-grown diamonds are challenging that narrative. Not only are they typically less expensive, but they also come with the promise of ethical sourcing and reduced environmental impact. There are no vast open pit mines, no displaced communities, and none of the deep scars left on landscapes by traditional extraction. Instead, lab-grown diamonds offer a vision of luxury that is both sustainable and humane. Pure carbon, refined by human ingenuity into something extraordinary. This dramatic change has sent ripples throughout the global diamond market. Some of the world's largest mining companies, recognizing the changing tides, have begun investing in lab-grown diamond technology themselves. The future of luxury, it seems, is becoming as much about innovation as tradition. Today, diamonds are not just destined for jewelry. They are engineered for a range of advanced applications, from cutting-edge lasers to quantum computing and even deep space exploration. In laboratories around the world, scientists are pushing the boundaries further still. Growing rare colored diamonds in vibrant blues, pinks, and yellows, shades that nature produces only under the rarest of circumstances. Yet, for all the advantages lab-grown diamonds offer, a question lingers in the minds of many. Will these stones ever carry the same emotional weight as those formed in the heart of the earth over billions of years? For some, a diamond's story, the geological epic, the journey from darkness to light, is as important as the stone itself. For others, the assurance of ethical sourcing the purity of the crystal, and the marvel of human achievement are more than enough. In the end, diamonds, whether born of the Earth's ancient mantle or crafted in a modern laboratory, continue to dazzle and inspire. They remind us of the awe-inspiring forces that shape our world and of our own capacity to harness those forces in pursuit of beauty. So the next time you catch the glint of a diamond, remember, behind every shimmer lies a story. One is written in the language of time and tectonic fury, the other in precision, innovation, and hope. And perhaps the true value of a diamond is not just in its sparkle, but in the meaning we choose to give it.